Jay McMullen and I'm starting this video series for those of you that are wanting to build a guitar I started a couple years ago maybe three or four years ago actually looking into building my own guitar it's just something I think would be fun I've built radio controlled airplanes since I was probably 12 years old I started building wood model airplanes about the age of 10 and then started getting into flying radio controlled airplanes probably about the age of 12 and I'm 52 now so I've done that 40 years anyway and I enjoy building things. I enjoy, especially enjoy designing something and then building it. I've actually designed a couple full-scale aircraft. One was a four-place home-built aircraft. The other was a two-place. I haven't ever built one yet, but I'd sure like to someday. But I have back issues that kind of limit me from doing that anymore. Uh, when I decided to do this, I decided I didn't want just any old guitar. I didn't want one that somebody else made. or I wanted to do my own design. About four or five years ago, I ran across a company in the Czech Republic called Rosa Wood. Uh, Roman Zajacek, I believe is his name, he's the luthier there, and they say he's one of the top five guitar builders in the world. But they had a jumbo they called the RJ77 acoustic jumbo guitar that was one of the most be beautiful guitars I've ever seen. The upper bout, instead of coming out straight, actually they curved down and it's just one of the most beautiful guitars I've ever seen. At the time, though, the guitar was 8,000 euro, and that was about the time that the euro was twice the American dollar. So it was about a fifteen, sixteen thousand dollar guitar, way out of my price range. And as you know, if you buy a really good guitar, you're going to spend a lot of money. You can't just buy a good guitar and spend a couple hundred dollars. So anyway, eventually I talked to them. They had used that guitar travel in the world, and I got it at a way reduced rate. So I bought it. And I love that guitar, but when I decided to design my own guitar, I actually incorporated a little bit of that design, but I wanted to cut away on the guitar. I just really like the looks of the cutaway, so I've added that to my own design. I've enjoyed using AutoCAD and, and always wanted to be a draftsman when I was a kid, so that's one thing I've enjoyed is using the computer, doing computer aided drafting. And so I drew my own guitar. And then I had it printed here locally. I live in, in near Orlando, Florida, and I had it printed locally. And I began to build parts. But you know, one thing I don't want to do is, I, I talked to a man I met on one of the forums on the computer about building guitars, and he said he's built a pretty good workshop. Well, I found out with anything like that, you can spend as much money as you want, as much time as you want building jigs and finding tools, and, and I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on other things like that. I want to spend a lot of money on tools. Well, I ended up, I, a couple years ago when I first thought about building guitar I bought this book and I would recommend it highly to anyone it's called build your own acoustic guitar by Jonathan Kincaid and it has full-size plans for a, an auditory a concert size or auditorium size whatever you want to call it guitar in the back he builds his guitar without a whole bunch of specialty tools and just makes it really simple. You can find all kinds of videos on the internet, on YouTube, and on Luthier Forum, and different places like that. But you could spend your whole time building tools and jigs and never ever get around to building a guitar. You could spend as much money as you want. I don't want to spend a lot of money. I want to get into the building the guitar. So when I started off, I had a 10 inch bench saw. I actually moved to Florida three years ago and I had a nice table saw, but I had to sell a lot of things. I didn't have a lot of room to move things down. So I bought a bench saw. It takes up less room. I had that. I have a belt sander. I have uh, a jigsaw. I had a router. Uh, I bought a drill press. I built a thickness sander. I figured that's something that would really come in handy. And I built that for about $350. You can see all that on my website. I've got step-by-step -step, uh, uh, following along how I built that sander. And all the expense, there's a spreadsheet, so it's what I paid for it. But Anyway, I want to buy as few tools as I can. I did buy another plunge router with a router table. That's come in handy. But I don't want to buy any more tools. I don't have a chop saw. I don't have a uh, radial alarm saw. I don't have a lot of things like that. And I don't have like an, uh, a planer or a joiner. 
I'm going to do all this by hand in those things, and, and I should be able to come out just fine. I did buy a draw knife which for carving the neck, which is an interesting tool. I bought one on uh, eBay, an old, old used one that's just as good as it was the day it was made. So anyway, as I follow along, I'll be making different videos, and hopefully if you're interested in this, you can learn and don't get so wrapped up trying to, I mean, I watch the internet watching these videos, and I get frustrated, and I think, well, I can't do that. I can't make a, I'm not a patient guy to begin with. And I, I realize I'm going to have to learn some patience, you know, and, and let glue dry, and let paint dry, and things like that as I build this. But anyway, you can do it a lot simpler than the things you see on the on the computer. So follow along with me, and let's build a guitar.